Hello YouTubers, welcome to vlog number 37. Yes, I can use my fingers to make numbers. Today I'm going to do a video about how I got into rowing, how that all started. A lot of people have been asking how it happened, uh, how I went over to uni in America. So I'll try and answer those questions. Hopefully not make too many more new questions. Maybe it'll help some people out who are thinking of doing something similar. Uh, opened up Fortnite this morning, forgot it was Thursday. So that means the update of the day, or update of the week, and incoming uh, update of the week, which means a new gun, which is the homing missile. So that should be interesting. Apart from that, it's going to be we're going to move to the discussion table once I've played a bit of Fortnite, and we're going to just go ahead and we're going to just share my experience. Probably going to change, get a shower and everything first. Let's get to the discussion table. And welcome back to the discussion table. Didn't manage to play much Fortnite because the servers are still down from the update of getting the home and missile in. Uh, managed to get a shower and just have a bit of food. But now to the discussion. So today just going to talk about how I started rowing. Basically, I started playing basketball when I was quite young, seven, six, seven, eight-ish. And I played basketball all the way through till I was 17, 18. And so basketball itself is what took me over to America. My sister went to America for university in Virginia. And she, so I was like, well, if she can do it, then I'll be able to do it. So my path was a bit different. I went to a prep school after I finished in high school in Scotland. So I did my, the six years of high school in Scotland and then went over to a prep school in America. The original plan was to do two years at this prep school and then go to university after that because I was still 17. So I would leave at 19 and in America you can do like a little year over. So 19 is not too bad for leaving high school. So I went over, I went to this prep school. The reason I chose this prep school was basically one of the people that were there the year before me um, used to play with my sister and so I knew that the school was really good, I knew the uh, basketball was decent and she also, she got a scholarship off the back of her year at that school so I thought it was a good place to go. So I went there and I arrived at this Kent school, really beautiful place, uh, got there, set in all my, got room set up, got, went to the went to the mailbox and in the mailbox were two letters. Uh, one letter was from Princeton and one was from uh, the University of Pennsylvania. Both of them were saying, uh, really want you to join us in the basketball team in two years time. So I thought, fantastic. I haven't even done anything yet and I've already got two kind of offers to go play basketball at uni. And so I start, start school, start doing the training, and at the prep school you do like three sports all year round, um, instead of just doing one. So since it wasn't winter yet, when the basketball started, it was, uh, I was doing yoga and uh, training for basketball on the side. So I was getting up in the mornings, going to weights, uh, going to class, doing yoga in the afternoons, and then going to do some extra basketball training at night. Uh, so then, as the weeks went on, I was told by the coach that the rules had slightly changed from the end, so for in the last, I think it was the last year or so. So I got there and the, the rules were, I was able to stay for two years and I could go to uni and it was fine. But the rules had changed that it meant, since I had graduated school in Scotland and I went and did my six years, I did the like advanced hires, the sort of close to uni work stuff there, it meant that I had essentially already done too much. So it meant that I was only allowed to spend one year at high school in America uh, and then go to uni. Or if I stayed for two, it would take away a year of eligibility in America. So you get four years and one year red shirt, one year of sort of injury kind of space time if you want. But usually four years. And so if I stayed for two at Kent school, it meant that I would only be able to do three of a sport at uni. So talk to my parents, talked to the coaches and we decided to, okay, we're switching to one year and we're going to see what I can do there. So I spoke to Princeton, spoke to the University of Pennsylvania and they were, well, our roster's full for next year. Spoke to a bunch of other unis, couldn't get interest, like going, which is a bit unfortunate, but uh, got me sort of really focused on something. 
So throughout the year, we do the basketball, we, we play well, we just don't do well enough to get noticed by a lot of big big places. So we I come round to, so through the winter for basketball and then come into springtime, I think it was maybe April, May time. And so we go on to the, the third sport of the year. And so my thoughts were, okay, I've got European championships in the summer. I've played with um, the Scottish team and the, the, trained with the under 20 the GB team. So I thought in the summer I'll play with uh, at the European Championships, play basketball there, and that's like the last effort to go to uni. I had a couple of places that uh, were really good schools. One that was actually really close to my sister, really good school, um, but just it wasn't quite there for what I was wanting to do. And uh, so I decided I'm going to train for uh, the European Championships during the spring, and then pretty much by myself or with other guys who are trying to train basketball wise and then go to the European Championships and then hopefully smash it and get an offer there. So I, I think it was, I trained for a couple of days, I think it was less than a week, maybe two or three days, um, trained by myself, doing the weights, doing doing like the running around, playing basketball, doing shooting myself. And I thought, nah, this is, I'm just not really enjoying it. So just doing the myself part. So I wanted to be back into a team. And so I spoke to the rowing coach because he had already like been speaking to me saying, oh, you should try rowing now, try doing that. And I thought, well, maybe if I row, I'll get like, a good bit fitter, uh, and I'll be able, like my thoughts will be I'll jump higher, I'll be able to get fitter, and then I'll improve my basketball. And so I asked the rowing coach, I was like, is there any chance, is there any space for me to come in? And luckily, the day before I asked, someone had switched sports, so there was another space for me. So that was lucky. And then, uh, so from there, the coach said, right, we'll get you into, get into the boat, just get you learning to row. And so this is, I think this is, yeah, May time, I think, May-ish. So I'm learning to row. And I remember the first day, out, uh, we first day was in the tank. I think it was in the tank. Maybe it was the first day or second day. Definitely went in the tank first, show me, oh, that's what it was. First day was in the tank for 20 minutes. And then the coach said, right, how are you going to water? Go in the, I think it was the third boat, I think. Maybe even the fourth boat, I don't know. But whatever boat it was, like, okay, first day, get in the water. So I'm in my basketball gear. I've got my baggy shorts on, I've got my baggy top on. And I'm rowing away. I coach, coach the, the slide ge- uh, keeps getting caught, keeps getting caught, and I'm sort of like going, going round my knees, not through my knees, and all over the place. The coach is laughing and just having a bit of fun. And then the shorts keep getting caught. Shorts just get caught in the slides. So I was like, right, well, so the shorts come off. I'm rowing in my boxers. The coaches are all in hysterics. So that was not the first experience of rowing. And it was all it was all just a lot of fun, which was uh, which was wasn't a new thing for fun playing sport, but it was just a bit refreshing because I had been spending a bit of time by myself training, and then now I'm back into that team aspect, and it was exciting and a bit of fun. And so go into the, that boat, and then next week I'm into the next boat. We do a two k, to do well there, do another two k, do well there, and then uh, the coach asks me, the head coach who says, Cameron, what do you want to do? Uh, what uni do you want to go to? Do you want to go to uni f- to, and play basketball? Or do you want to go to uni and row? And so I said to him, I want to go to the best school and if the basketball's there or the rowing's there, it's, right now it's the school's first and then rowing or basketball. So he said, okay, well, the coach from Northeastern University is coming out to see you. Uh, I think it was like the next day or the next couple of days. And I'm like, oh, right, okay, sounds good. I'll, sweet. And uh, went from there, next day or whatever it was, the coach came out and I'm just absolutely honking on it. I don't know what I'm doing. I've only been rowing for a couple of weeks or whatever it was, a few weeks. I'm honking on it, just try to pull as hard as I can, make my rowing look as good as I can. Uh, speak to the coach after, like, hi, uh, I would like to row. Um, hopefully you liked what you saw, blah, blah, blah. He said, yeah, it was good, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, yeah, he said, yeah, it was good to meet you, good to see you row. Uh, we'll be in touch and so I'm like all right that sounds good to me um, and then I think the next couple of days the coach comes back and he's like right what can we do to get you to Northeastern and so from there it goes it was pretty much it was I went from that school raced that season at uh, uni uh, sorry at the high school at Kent school and then I went from there to row, uh, rowing at home during the summer in Scotland and then just went to uni by myself um, to row and I remember uh, when the coach did say okay we've, we can offer you something to, to go to Northeastern I remember 
but I don't think I told my parents much about rowing up to this stage. Had a Skype conversation. I said, "Okay, mum. Okay, dad. Uh, I'm going. I think I'm going to uni for for rowing." And I think they were just like, "Um, okay, sounds good." But they were a bit like uh, a bit nervous. But I was like, "Yeah, go to rowing." And well, they let me. They just said, "Okay, go follow your dreams. Do what you want. We'll support you 100 percent," which was awesome. It is awesome. And then after that, so we rode at uni for the four, uh, four years. Northeastern did a five-year program, but I was there for four. Ended up with a business and finance degree. And then I was like, okay, throughout this time, I was doing under-23s. I talked to the coaches um, at home and the, the GB under-23 stuff. I said, okay, I'm, I've got this time, I've got that time. What do you need me to do? How do I get into under-23s? Speaking to uh, Pete Shepherd, he was really good at just emailing back and forward, seeing what I had to do, what I had to improve on, uh, what I needed to do to get uh, back in the summer for trials. So all that, and then, so raced on the 23s twice, uh, Austria and Varese, and then last year at uni, speaking to the coaches, what do I have to do? Oh, I was coming at 2015, so obviously Rio 2016, they're like, nah, you're not gonna get in the team, which was fair enough. So I was like, okay, go to Leander or another club and prepare yourself, train really well, train really hard, get stronger, all that for the year, and then hopefully come into the team the next year. So obviously we, we, I go to Leander Club again, so I just go from uh, Northeastern, spend the summer at home a little bit, and then straight to Leander, don't really know anyone, get on and really have a really good year, train well, PB by quite a bit, uh, get stronger by quite a bit, and then uh, the next year we do, do Henley and all that with the Leander guys, do Fizu with the GB stuff and then get invited into the team and the next year so 20 that was two years ago so the end of 2016 after the Olympics which is really exciting and then now we're coming into my the second year so I've just had the issues with my tonsils and getting ill and stuff so I'm hoping this is the last thing done this the problem and I can really get back this summer and train train really hard get get strong, get fit again, so I can come back next year swinging for the fences. Hopefully that's answered some of your questions about how I started rowing. If you have any questions relating to, if you want to go to American unis for uh, rowing or any sport really, if you've got any questions about going to just school in America, or if you've got any questions about beginning rowing, or any other questions you may have, be happy to answer. Just leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Remember, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, Hope you enjoyed discussion time number four. Have a good one.